In chapter eight, we are going to talk about weather and air and severe weather. Imagine a cold wind blows around you as you climb higher up an ice covered mountain. You spend a moment adjusting the tank on your back. At this altitude, you need a tank of oxygen to help you breathe. As you look at the clouds below, you think about all the planning that went into your climb. You are especially thankful that the weather forecasters could tell that this would be a good week for climbing. How were these weather forecasters able to predict this good weather? That's what we are going to talk about in chapter eight. Air is a mixture of gases in constant motion. Differences in air temperatures create winds. Take a very deep breath. You now probably have about three liters of air in your lungs. The air has many gases in it. About eight tenths of the air is nitrogen and about two tenths is oxygen. A very small part of the air is carbon dioxide, dioxide, water vapor, and other gases. No other planet in this solar system has air like Earth's. Here I'm going to show you a chart of, gas, of all the gases that make up the air. Here's the chart. Mostly nitrogen, as I said, about 78%. 20% oxygen, 9 tenths argon, and about 3 hundredths carbon dioxide. There are five layers in the Earth's atmosphere. Most weather conditions only happen in the bottom layer, the troposphere. As you go up through the five layers, temperatures and air pressure changes. Air pressure decreases as you go up through the atmosphere. Here you can see that I have highlighted the first letter of each level of the layer of the Earth's atmosphere. I want you to create an acrostic poem just like we have before using the first letter of each layer of the Earth. The exosphere, the thermosphere, the mesosphere, the stratosphere, and the troposphere like I said, where the weather happens. The troposphere, again, is about 10 miles high, and this is where weather happens. The recipe for weather. You need temperature, pressure, volume, and density. You combine all of these ingredients in the troposphere that if you combine all of these ingredients in the troposphere, mix thoroughly and you will have all different kinds of weather. Air pressure decreases as you move up higher. This decrease happens because the gas particles in the air get farther apart and there is less air above you. Now we're going to talk about convection current. Different temperatures also cause convection currents to form. In a convection current, gases or liquids rise and sink in a circular path. As cool air moves under warm air, wind is created. Wind occurs as air moves from a place of high air pressure to a place of low air pressure. In cool air, gas particles, as you can see, are closer together than in warm air. This means that every liter of cool air is heavier than every liter of warm air. When the two kinds of air are next to each other, the cool air will sink and force the warm air to rise. Wind. We have wind when air moves from a place of high air pressure to a place of low air pressure. Six huge convection currents form in the air above Earth. One reason they form is that tropical regions get warm, warmer than other parts of the Earth. 
warm air from tropical regions rises. After the air cools, it sinks further north and south. The moving of the huge convection currents combines with the spinning of Earth to cause regional surface wind patterns. Winds generally move from east from west to east over much of the United States, as shown in this picture. Jet streams are high above the ground between the huge, these huge convection currents that I was talking about before. A jet stream is a band of very fast wind formed by different temperatures between the convection currents. Even though it is very high, a jet stream affects air movement. Changes in temperature, winds, and precipitation result. So here's a picture of jet streams. Review. The five layers of the Earth's atmosphere. You will create your own acrostic to remember these layers. Exosphere, thermosphere, mesosphere, stratosphere, troposphere. An example of an acrostic could be starting from the bottom, tomato, sandwiches, make, tongues, excited, or trained, senders, mail, thick, envelopes. You start at the bottom because the troposphere is the closest to us on the ground. As altitude increases, how does air pressure change? Do you remember? Why? Air pressure decreases as you go up through the atmosphere because the gas particles in the air get farther apart and there is less air above you. We know that the air, air is made up of nitrogen, oxygen, and other gases, mostly nitrogen. What causes convection currents? Different temperatures cause convection currents. Cooler air is heavier than warm air. Cool air will sink, forcing warm air to rise. Notice, in answering these questions, I used complete sentences and answered the question completely. In what direction do surface winds go over the, un over the United States generally blow? Winds generally generally blow from west to east in the United States. At night, land cools more than water. Air above the land will be cooler than air above the water. What conclusion can you draw about convection currents near the ocean at night? Put the answer to this question in your notebook.